I'm Liv Talk, and this is a poem about being very, very pregnant. I was never that small before, but now I'm impossible to ignore. A space hopper stroke dinosaur waddling across the supermarket floor, low riding an eight pound bowling ball. You know, I'm queen of the Oompa Loompas. Violet Beauregard in hues of blush and sepia, not as whiny but slightly weepier. More than just an angry bird on a mission, I'm a cataclysmically ferocious puffer fish. Catapult me down through more Totnes High Street and watch me take out small independent vintage sh shops with my flailing arms and explosive posterior depth charges. Yeah, on the outside, I appear to be taking up more and more of the room, but the territory surrounding my lungs, liver and womb is like a slowly constricting and restrictive balloon. You're elbowing me out of my strength and my power. I have to psych myself up to climb over the bath and under the shower. I can't sleep on my front, my back, or my right side. My dreams are like a surreal Pink Floyd anxiety ride. Yeah, I have really great skin and bright shiny hair, but I don't dare to sneeze in my good underwear. I can't tie my laces or bend to pick up my shoes. I can't shave my legs or even look at my pubes. I have to buy double G parachutes to constrain my dampening boobs and my bathroom bin is filled with empty anus old tubes. Yeah, it's really quite lovely to sacrifice and to share, but inside of my belly it's internal organs warfare as I sit in a fortress of cushions, gasping half lungfuls of air and sift through NHS handouts and gifts of pastel knitwear. I am itching and stretching drooling and retching, never less sexy, but never more leching. My bladder is full of a raging monsoon, but there's rarely more pee than a tiny teaspoon. My hips are all, all achy and my lungs feel like lead. I can't get close to my husband. I have to hug with my head and the minute I'm comfy, I have to get out of bed. Each evening, I bleed from the nose, anus and gums. I binge nightly on Gaviscon and daily on Tums. I am one body, four eyelids, two heads and four thumbs, two heartbeats, two vaginas and also two bums. As fat as a pumpkin with my own inner candle. It's amazing when determined what the human body can handle. Encouraging and shuffling my significant girth through the final few days approaching the moments of birth when my baby will be weighed along with my courage and worth. And I want to say truly that I really don't care that I'll probably scream, poo myself and perennially tear. Because all that will matter is you're finally there, out in the open, alive and aware that I made you inside me from some sperm and some cells and several thousand degrees of indignities, hells. And as long as we get through with a stamp mother and baby a well, then that's all I'll remember and probably the only story I'll tell.